over that, and then he can be. I'm the guy. extremely confident. Confident. Extremely confident. So is he. He will play well. He will play well. What do you like about him as a player? He's long. He's fast. He's tough. He's disciplined. He's competitive. He plays the ball in the air extremely well. He puts his foot in the ground and changes direction. Uh, he's not afraid to play man to man and play man to man all day long. So uh, he will play well. You like going against these quarterbacks? I, I, I can tell you this: the training ground that we have for uh, every day, every day is second to none. You have phenomenal arms on the other side of the ball and, and as talented a group of receivers as you're going to see anywhere in the country, and they stress you. The offense stresses you every day. And so, you know, it, it is completely to our benefit to have the opportunity to go against that quality every day. You've had a All-Big Ten quarterback every year you've been here. Do you have that again? I, I, you know, somebody else picks those guys. Here's what I'll tell you. Uh, our guys are going to show up every Saturday. They're going to play really hard. And uh, at the end of the year, I, I think people will notice that they've had, uh, have, had good years. Did you have to have a talk with Gary on? Uh, I'm sure you talk to him every day. Yeah. But a talk specifically about making sure that, okay, what happened last year, it's over. You can be the guy. There's no doubt about it because until you make those plays, you're not the guy. I mean, I think we all realize that. And so you got to go out here. The good news is, as we just talked about, he's already gone against as good a group of receivers as he's going to see all year long, and he's tested every day. That builds your confidence because he's playing very, very well. So, uh, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, this is what I told Gary on. The situation that he got placed in uh, last year, that's my fault. I got to have him ready for that. And I, would, I didn't have him ready enough. And so I, I take ownership of that. And he has showed up, uh, and he understands that. And so I've done the same thing with Damon Webb. Uh, I've done more things with Damon Webb this fall to prepare him for that eventuality, as well as these young players, uh, because I don't think I did a good enough job of making him feel the pressure of that situation before that situation. So we worked really hard on that this offseason. Coach S said that Damon Webb's going to be the next starting nickel right now. How is he kind of taking that in stride with camp, finishing up? He's working very, very hard. Uh, he's working extra. As you know, you've got to play corner. And then if you're going to go play nickel, you got to spend a lot of extra time. And he comes in early. He stays late. He works extra on the field, off the field, preparing himself. Uh, he's eager for that challenge. And, you know, we've had some pretty good nickels here. So uh, he's excited to go out there and give that a shot. In going against the wide receivers, what have you seen in Braxton's progression? Well, you know, Braxton, is there, there aren't. If there's better athletes in the country, I don't know where they are. He has got tremendous ability to make moves in space that are uh, extraordinary. Uh, he's he's learning every day, leaps and bounds about the receiver position. Uh, you, if you make a mistake when you cover Braxton Miller, he's you're going to pay for it. So how different is he from the start of camp to 